Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today we're going to be talking about upgrades, and these are different uh, components and things you can build that when submitted or put into different machines can cause them to work in different ways, more effectively, faster, things of that nature. Um, there are a lot of different mods within Sky Factory 4, and a lot of them contain upgrades, so I'm going to be covering three of the more commonly used ones, uh, especially early to mid-game. If you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Um, so right off the bat, if we go into the JEI and we type just upgrade, you can see a lot of different things come up. A little over, two pa a little over page into two pages worth. Now, some of these things themselves, such as sh uh, sharpening kits, are not really upgrades, but there's a lot of different upgrades that can be found within here. Um, and clicking on them, of course, will show you their recipes. Now, we're going to be looking at three different mods upgrades specifically in this video. We're going to be looking at nuclear craft, mechanism, and simple storage. Uh, so, nuclear craft, we're going to start with first. Nuclear craft, uh, again, looking in here, you'll see there are two of them. One over here, which is a speed upgrade, and one which is an energy upgrade. Uh, and just to show an example here, I've grabbed an alloy furnace, which is one of the components of nuclear craft itself. So making them are very easy. Uh, for a speed upgrade, it's just going to be some lapis, redstone, and a weighted pressure plate. And for an energy upgrade, it's going to be uh, a form of obsidian dust or pulverized obsidian, uh, crushed quartz, and a gold weighted pressure plate. Um, now the great thing about these uh, in this one is that they are stackable in most machines. So I'm going to grab a stack of each. Um, if you go into a nuclear craft uh, machine, if it supports upgrades, it will show the slots for them in these two little spots right here. Um, a speed upgrade literally makes the machine work faster. Um, so it's just going to process whatever you're trying to do in a much quicker route. Um, an energy upgrade is going to decrease the amount of power needed to do that same process. Uh, so if you're using a lot of the speed upgrades, you're going to want to do a lot of the energy upgrades just to make sure that your power source is going to be able to provide enough power to keep up at the rate. Uh, so I try to do a one for one. If I'm doing 10 speed upgrades, I want to have at least 10 energy upgrades. But it's literally just a matter of setting those in there. And at that point now, it is going to be drastically increasing the speed and the energy consumption will be drastically dropping to process making any of the different items in an alloy furnace. So very easy to do. Uh, no, not all machines do support these upgrades, but if they do, they will have this little spot here uh, showing you exactly which ones they support within nuclear craft itself. Next, we're going to be looking at mechanism. Uh, there are six different ones available for mechanism. There's a speed upgrade, an energy upgrade, and they work pretty much the same as the last two we looked at for nuclear craft. There's also a um, filter upgrade, a muffling upgrade, a gas upgrade, and an anchor upgrade. Um, so when we're looking at a device uh, from mechanism, and for this one I've chosen a pressurized reaction chamber, right click on that in the upper right hand corner will be a little arrow that says upgrades if you click on that it's going to show you which upgrades this device is compatible with as you can see it's cycling between muffling energy and speed so those are the three that'll work so i'm gonna grab those so when you go into there if i take my speed upgrade and set them in this up slot up here you'll see that they will feed into the machine again these can be stackable and so by increasing those in there, this is going to be increasing the amount of uh, speed in which my machine processes its um, process, if you will, for lack of a better word. An energy upgrade is the same as before. It's going to decrease the amount of power that is needed in order to run this machine's process. Uh, so this one is, of course, creating gas or liquids, things of that nature. And then the last one is going to be a muffler upgrade, which reduces the noise generated by the machinery. So this one's just mostly for convenience. But putting that in there will make the machine quieter, uh, which can be nice if you have a lot of machines automated and running in a small space. Um, now, as for the other three upgrades, uh, if we look over here, you can see all six of them here, speed, energy, the filter upgrade, field shift says, a filter that separates heavy water from regular water. A little rare, uh, more rarely used, but can be helpful in some of the devices. The muffler reduces the noise. 
gas upgrade increases the efficiency of gas using machinery. And then the ANC upgrade keeps a machine's chunk loaded. So that one can be really, really helpful to keep your machine up and running when you're a distance from that chunk to keep it up and going. Uh, but again, any machine within mechanism that has the ability to have upgrades, you'll see that little arrow in the top right. Clicking on that, it will cycle through showing which ones are available. Insert them into this upper right slot to load them into the machine. So again, very simple. Now the last one we're going to be looking at today is the simple storage. Uh, now, as I see, see here, I have a very basic simple storage network, and I have a storage import cable. So there are four different ones available here. There's a speed upgrade, an operation upgrade, stack upgrade, and a stock upgrade. So again, if we jump into our JEI and we look for these over here in a simple storage, a speed increases the speed of importing and exporting into the system. An operations upgrade is the activity of the cable depends on the amount of items. Stack upgrade increases the si stack size of a task. And stock upgrade keeps a specific amount of items in the attached inventory, but only in an export cable. Okay, that means that one only works in an export. Now, of these, majority of the time, the speed upgrade is really the only one that I find as useful, but I'm going to show you where to put them. So, on an, a cable, and I'm going to grab a couple here. I've grabbed the uh, speed upgrade and the stack upgrade. If you click on a cable, if it has the capability to have upgrades, up here in the upper right will be the slots where you can put them. Now, not all of the simple storage cables will have a slot. Um, but if it does, you can take a speed upgrade and put it in there. Stack upgrade, put it in there. Now, these ones, as you can see, are not stackable. It will not let me put more than one in there. Okay, I can put a separate stack there, but it will not let me put more than one on a simple stack. So four upgrades is the maximum that you've got. Um, but by putting the in here, speed upgrade is going to increase the speed that items import and export into my system. Now that can be really handy if you have a lot of different items auto feeding into or out of your system uh, through a single cable. Uh, sometimes if you're say feeding items into a chest and then that chest into your simple storage network, it, the chest can bog down or fill up because items are not coming out of the chest and into your network as quickly as they're coming from say your farm or the machines or your mob spawner that are gathering those items particularly. Um, so a speed upgrade is a great way to, to get that to go through a whole lot faster. Uh, but that's several of the different upgrades available, um, especially for those three more commonly used mods. Now, if you look, there are upgrades here for the barrels, drums, storage, and more, and there are advancements uh, that go hand in hand with those. Um, for industrial foregoing, there are some uh, upgrades for the conveyor belts specifically. Uh, for matter overdrive, there are a bunch of different upgrades here as well, uh, such as upgrade shell, speed upgrades, power upgrades, and such. Um, for open computers, there's going to be several there as well. A lot, lot for open computers. Um, but like I said, there's going to be a lot of different stuff that you can look through. Uh, for your airships, there's a bunch down here. If you are using uh, mob grinding utilities, uh, then these red ones here that you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner, as well as on the next page, those will be going into your mob, uh, mob fan and mob masher, if you will. Um, so a lot of different types of upgrades, but a lot of those, are, uh, those ones I just mentioned are a little more specific uh, for specific tasks and not as commonly used. Um, the ones we went over today, I, I find are the ones that I use the most. So hopefully they'll be a little bit helpful for you as well. Uh, but that is gonna do it for this tutorial. Um, if you find the tutorial helpful, uh, please let me know. Uh, if you have any questions about it or any of my tutorials, please be sure to throw those down in the comments. I'll try to get answered as quickly as I can. Um, and again, if you also have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, throw those in there as well. I'm always looking for new recommendation ideas to, to make some tutorials on. Uh, but that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.